My name is Christopher Roberts, and I'm a public health vector specialist for the Vector Control and Code Enforcement section of the Multnomah County Health Department. Rodent control is my specialty, primarily rats. Vector Control receives approximately 1,250 rodent-related phone calls every year. And in response, I personally conduct about 1,000 free home assessments for residents of Multnomah County. Although I am not an exterminator, nor can I ethically recommend any extermination company or business, my assessments are designed to educate residents on steps they can take to prevent and treat rat problems where they live. When I visit a resident, the first thing I have them do is to point out any evidence they have found that indicates they may have a rat problem. This gives me a chance to determine the scope and scale of their rat problem, the species involved, and offer advice on steps they can take to prevent and or eliminate the rats. In the crawl space under the back porch of this house, I confirm the presence of rat droppings. Burrows under the stairs, foundation, and crawl space indicate the culprit to be the ground-dwelling Norway rat. So here's another burrow right here. They're going to be drawn to this area anyway. It's kind of right. sheltered from your dogs and other predators, and that's when they kind of dig their way in. Okay. All right. Ew! <laughs> Once I confirm that there is a rat problem, the next step is to try and determine where the rats are getting their food. On this particular property, I did not find any hanging bird feeders, open compost piles, or pet food being left outside, which are the three most common sources of food for rats in the city. But conversations with the resident reveal that chickens are being kept by an adjacent neighbor. Since rats typically don't stray far from their food source, they could be getting their food from this neighboring chicken coop. In situations like this, the resident may want to discuss the rat problem with their neighbor on a personal, neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor basis and share the information that I have provided. I can also provide the resident with three mechanical snap traps and bait stations for free to help her get rid of the rats living under and around her house. At the end of the visit, I fill out an inspection report indicating any rat problems I confirmed and offering solutions on how to prevent and or eliminate rat problems in the future. Vegetation, trimmer remove, or okay. reduce. So, and then I'm giving you three bait stations. Just need to trigger. And you do this for anybody? Yeah, uh -huh. as long as you're resident in Multnomah County. Rats can create a lot of problems by contaminating food, damaging property, and transmitting diseases to other animals and humans. My goal at Multnomah County Vector Control is to educate residents on ways they can prevent or manage a rat problem by removing food, reducing shelter, and controlling the population by trapping or baiting. This work matters.